Hey guys, this is Marianne Cleary here again, and yes, and Resident Evil, the final chapter. Can I just say, um, first up, I have never played any of the Resident Evil games. Um, so I don't know what it's, the games are like, so I can't really say whether or not this is, uh, truthful to the games, but I do like my zombie movies. So I'll take it as from that perspective of the good old zombie movie. It, they actually are really, really good movies, despite the fact that I've never seen any of I've never played a game and I'm really sad to see this particular franchise uh, go uh, this is the only this is I've seen two of these in theaters this and the last chapter I saw in theaters so I think I, I, I caught the other three on DVD on blu-ray I luckily have the blu-ray box set and what attracts me to this particular character is, of course, Milia Jovkovic. Uh, I do apologize if I butchered the, le the actor's name. And I originally saw her in The Fifth Element, which she played that weird alien uh, creature in that movie. So I've seen her in a couple of movies. Plus, away from the Resident um, movies, I have seen her husband's uh, version of The Four Musketeers. My sister owns that on DVD and another 3D movie of Paul's. And it, it's an okay movie. She's uh, fine in it. But it's not really one that I personally would go out and run and get her, get, get movie. So, Mila, Milia has come out and said this is going to be the last one. We will see what comes out of it. Um, this, I have, uh, this is opening weekend that I am recording this video. So, only... Uh, time will tell with uh, that one. Um, we will see if it um, continues because they have left it a little bit open-ended in just in case they do want to come back and do a, uh, another movie. It was really nice to see um, Ali Lada back. Uh, Ali Lada has been in... This would be a third um, Resident Evil and the character of Claire and that relationship that we saw develop, we saw start in the third one and the in the third one sort of continue in sort of the I think it was fourth one. And then see it really, really um, continue. No, the, no, rephrase this. Just be a fourth. My bad. Um, and correct me in the comments, please. Um, that relationship was really well developed and continued to develop in this movie. So. I love that and the, the returning characters not just uh, Claire but also uh, Wesla and uh, Dr. Alexander they it felt like they had the same voice as the as their previous movies this is written by this particular franchise written by the same person similar to the Chucky series uh, in a way 
was written by the same person, but uh, two and three were directed by Paul. Paul came in one, four, and this one. So just slightly different. Um, get back to the point. Um, they felt like continuations of the characters, but added layer, uh, um, uh, extra layers to um, to the characters that were already established. It didn't feel like what was added uh, felt false. It felt like part of the same world, which I as a fan appreciated. Uh, and so uh, in the trailers, it mentions it go back, go to Raccoon City, which if you have seen the first Resident movie, you know that is the ground zero for the whole outbreak that we saw in part one. So it's sort of Alice coming back home in a way. Um, we revisit uh, a couple of the sets from the original, which for me as a fan, I absolutely appreciated that, um, that a lot of care was taken to make what they were doing feel part of the same world. So I do appreciate that. Like the, the set designer, um, every, every single one feels unique, but they all feel the same. Um, so I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I did see it in 3D. Uh, my favourite three theatres are is Parramatta, Macquarie and Top Right, which are all in Sydney. Ironically, it says in 3D, you can be seen in 3D, they aren't pushing it in Australia. I don't, want to, I don't know what it's like over, overseas, but they are pushing it too hard here in Australia. Out of the three I mentioned, only one here at Parramatta, which is my local, has it in 3D, but only two screens. And the 3D itself is not the um, not the one that's in your face. It's my favourite one, which is the depth 3D, which I do prefer the depth the depthy 3D than the oh we can put stuff in your face 3D, which I despise when they. News 3D, but it's all in your face for no apparent reason. So I do enjoy, I've seen and noticed a lot of 3D movies aren't using that 3D pop in your face um, gimmick anymore, which I'm so appreciated. Um, probably thinking, what am I giving it? Um, it is a bit of a, a bit of a step down from the last couple of movies. I will still buy it on Blu-ray because I'm a fan. But uh, I did walk into this a little bit blind. I, I hadn't had a chance to watch the movies, but I have been hearing it on Now Playing Podcast dot com, which. Uh, they are going to be reviewing this movie this week, so I'm wait, hoping to see what they have to say about the movie. Myself, I actually give it a f uh, three out of five, which is uh, about average. Which I think it's the lowest I've given a movie on this channel so far. So um, that's no fault. The quality is. It did go down a bit, but there was a lot of good jump scares, which for me, ever since um, I think House of Wax, uh, uh, 05, it's hard for me to, uh, hard for me to really um, get jumpy 
jump in a movie theatre because trust me that movie still gives me nightmares thank you very much so it's a little hard for me to jump but there was a couple of times in the theatres that made me jump so which is a really good sign for me that I uh, was really engrossed in the story that it made me jump I I might be I might see it again so um, before it leaves theatres but I do I still I still like it it's a great send-off to the series if they do choose to uh, finish here um, Milo is so hot um, so go and see it if you can in 3d I highly recommend it to see it in 3d so I might see it in 2d to see what the difference is so I uh, keep an eye on my Twitter feed I might do a oh I actually might do a uh, quick one on my on my blog channels uh, my blog uh, website so I'll put a link to the site on down below so uh, if I decide to do a post about this so keep uh, keep an eye out so I I still probably will get it on DVD I thoroughly enjoyed it it's a great send-off if they choose to finish here so we will see we will see you guys and there's so many good movies this is going to be a great year 2017 so we will see what the future has we are about to hit Oscar season so wow um, we will see uh, this is Marianne sign off I know she's so cool ciao